Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and another vlog. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Mara. I'm so glad you guys are here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and comment down below your thoughts. Okay guys, so I actually just got back from Florida two days ago and my house is a wreck. It is a disaster. It was just me and Malik that went because Mustafa was working literally all weekend. We went for five days and Mustafa was working all five days. So he couldn't go. We just tagged along with my sister and her family. It was so fun. I didn't vlog, but I did take like lots of videos and stuff and post it on my Instagram and TikTok if you guys wanna check those out. I just didn't really feel like vlogging this trip. Um, I just kinda wanted to enjoy some family time and we had a lot of fun. But I'm back now and it's grind time. My house is disgusting. I just have to like really like scrub it. I just really have to do a deep clean and like scrub everything down. So I thought I would record. Um, getting kinda getting my life back together after vacation. And this weekend I'm traveling to Canada for my friend Lauren's wedding. So it's just like back to back to back stuff. And I just want to come back home to a clean house. You know, Mustafa did what he could. He like, you know, surface clean for me, of course. But it's just like I need to do like the deep cleaning. The dishes are overflowing. I did all the laundry from vacay. I need to fold and put up. So it's just like a lot of things. So I thought I would, I thought I would feel myself doing all those things for you guys. Maybe give you guys some motivation to clean. Because um, I know we all need that motivation. I know I do. So. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I kind of just wanted to show you guys the state of my house right now. It is just a wreck. So this is my living room. Clothes everywhere because I washed those and they're drying and I need to get a drying rack. I know. Okay, so here's my kitchen. This is just real life right now. <laughs> here's the dishes from last night that we never did. <sighs> Got a lot of PR packages I need to unbox and put away. Clothes. Max high chair that I need to clean from this morning's breakfast. And of course, just vacuuming and mopping my entire house. I asked my niece Maya to come over so she could watch Matic for me while I clean. So thank you, Maya. Yeah. <laughs> and this is my formal living area. These, cl these clothes are all clean. They didn't need to be put up, okay? Oh God, just so much stuff. Okay, now that I embarrassed myself, let's get started. Okay, let's go ahead and clean this disaster behind me. I always like to start in my bathroom. I don't know why, and just work my way around the house that way. So let's go ahead and do that. First, let's just clear everything off. Let's just start there. show you guys what I do so that way I can get like the very top of it and this is the best this glass cleaner it's the spray way it's the best all right so this is what I do it's a little hack I get my little Swiffer just one of these I take like a paper roll thingy and I put it on it well, let's like fold it over first Hold it, put it down. There's like these little grooves in there. You're supposed to use them for like the mop, the mop pads. But I just use them like this to clean my mirrors. So it's a little hack if you have like really tall mirrors and you can't like get to. And then you just wipe it down. Okay, now that my mirror is super clean, I'm gonna go ahead and scrub my sink and the counter. So, I love using my little handy dandy scrub daddy. If you get it hot, it gets soft and it's just like the perfect scrubber ever. So I'm gonna put hot water on this 
and then vice versa if you put cold water on it it gets like super hard for like if you want to scrub you know certain areas but i want it to get kind of soft it's super nice it has like a rough edge and like a squishy spongy side another tip is like i work from the top down so like i like i like i just did i did my mirrors i'm gonna work on my sinks my counters next and then the last thing i do is the floors because as you're scrubbing from top to bottom if you do the floors first they're just gonna get dirty so my little tip my mom basically taught me all the cleaning hats that i know now so i owe it all to her i'm just gonna use this clorox all-purpose spray I'm just gonna spray it all over we want to kill all those yucky nasty germs also dawn dish soap like there's nothing like it so i'm gonna do a little bit of dawn dish and i'm just gonna get to scrubbing Okay, it's already looking so much better. I already scrubbed the sink. I'm just gonna get the rest of the hairs out of here. Can you tell that this is my husband's sink? He shaves with the hair everywhere. <laughs> now let's dry it. I always like drying everything because then you can really just tell how clean it is. All right, you guys, squeaky clean. Now let's move on to my sink, which is on this side. Okay, same thing on this side. And some Dawn dish. My handy dandy scrub daddy. Okay, done. This is all clean now. Let's put everything back to where it was. Yay, it looks so much better. Okay, let's move on to the next thing now. Okay, I basically like have to wash these every time I wash, every time I clean the bathrooms because they just like gross me out. Also, the one in the bathroom and my bath mat. So, just get these, throw them in the wash, and I'll also get the guest bathroom ones. Here's my bath mat one. I'm gonna get the one in the bathroom and throw these all in the wash. Okay, I'm about to clean the toilets. I'm not going to video that part because it's just nasty. But I wanted to share this with you guys. These like little toilet wands are disposable. I The little scrubbers that you use over and over gross me out. I've never bought those. I've always bought these. So you can get a new scrubber each time. And then you just throw it out. I'll link all of these like down below for you guys. It looks like this. It's clean. And then you just stick it on. You can scrub your toilet with it. And then when you're done, you just press this button and you just close it like that. <laughs> um, yeah. If you don't have this, this is a game changer. You need this. Okay, I just cleaned the toilet. I'm all done with that. Now I'm going to vacuum the floors because, like I said, I work from the top down. So, last thing I need to do here is vacuum and mop. So, using my favorite vacuum ever, this is the Dyson. It's a cordless vacuum, so you don't have to plug it in. It's honestly ever since I got it, I've had it for like almost three years now, I think. It still works great, and I can't live without it. Like, I literally can't live without it. I don't know how I was living before. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. It has different attachments, it's super powerful. Like I said, I'll link all these down below, but I highly, highly recommend it. So let's go ahead and get vacuuming.
Alright, so before I put my bed sheets back on, I wanted to show you guys the new mattress I've been sleeping on. I've had it for about a week now, and I'm so excited to share with you guys today's sponsor, Helix. Helix offers premium mattresses customized to fit your personal needs and preferences, conveniently shipped right to your door with free shipping in the U.S. What's so cool about it is they have you take this quiz that matches you to your perfect mattress based on your own body type and your sleep preferences. Especially since we're all so different with our sleep, with our body types, just so many factors. This quiz is so good at taking all of that into account. I am personally a side sleeper and I like a medium feel mattress and I got matched to the Helix Midnight Mattress. Since having this mattress, I've already noticed such a tremendous change in my sleep. I used to wake up throughout the night super hot and this is good because in the sleep quiz it asks you if you if you do that and I do so this type of mattress is supposed to help with that and I would sometimes wake up with like aches and pains that has tremendously decreased when I wake up in the morning I feel so good what I really like about helix mattresses is that they are fiberglass free which you can have peace of mind in knowing that as you guys can see here of me unboxing it it comes in a box conveniently shipped right to your door it's so easy to unbox and set up i know it can be a little scary ordering a mattress online without like physically testing it out first but that's why helix offers a hundred night trial so you can test it out see how you like it see how you're sleeping so that gives you a little bit over three months to see how much you love it hi ella <laughs> Ella loves it too. <laughs> they even offer a 10 year warranty and flexible payment plan. I love my Helix mattress and I think you will too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix Sleep. You can click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash snowboard to get 20% off your new mattress plus two free new pillows. Thank you again to Helix for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go ahead and get these bed sheets put back on. Okay, Ella, you're gonna have to get off. You're gonna have to get off. <laughs> Okay, so I've kind of already started putting the sheets back on, but I'm not done yet. So, let's go ahead and do a tailor. And I just washed all these so they're all clean. There's literally nothing better than clean sheets. Okay, we're all done. I just need to vacuum, wipe down everything, and that mirror over there. I'm gonna use this disinfectant spray to wipe down like all the surfaces. All right, let's get this mirror wiped down. This is when I regret having so many mirrors around the house because I have to wipe every single one of them down. It sucks. <laughs> room is squeaky clean floors are all clean now i can move on to the rest of the house all right moving on to the kitchen and i'm actually about to start crying because i'm really tired and i have not even finished even half the house <laughs> okay i need to stop complaining because the sooner i start the sooner i can get done so let's get started on this disaster
Okay, I got everything loaded in here. It's like jam packed. So now I can put my little dish pod and start it. Say hi to the camera, Malik. Now I'm going to scrub my sink and I'm just going to use my little sponge. Obviously this one is for the kitchen and then I'll throw it out and use a new one. Um, I think this one's sponge daddy as well, but it's like a different kind. Works really, really well. And I'm just going to use dish soap. And I'm just going to scrub it down. Now that side is super sparkly and clean. I'm gonna move everything over so I can move this side. Now I'm gonna scrub the actual sink down. Don't forget like the bottom of it too. Oh, you guys, I'm tired. But now that the dishes are done, I scrubbed the sink. Let's go ahead and clean the counters. I'm just going to be using that same disinfectant spray. Okay, of course we have to wipe down all the appliances, make them super shiny. I'm using my glass cleaner. Another little hack, this makes it shine like no other. I use it on my dishwasher and my microwave as well. Now tell me if that doesn't look super, super shiny. And clean. Okay, let's wipe all this behind me down. Okay, I just wiped my dining table down. I just need to move the chairs and vacuum underneath them.
Look at my legs. <laughs> You're so cute. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Now we're gonna vacuum this living room area. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm like dead. All right, you guys, living room is all clean. Malik, say cheese. All right, you guys, my living room is all clean and I am like about to just like, oh. <laughs> this is how I feel right now. No one touch me or talk to me. <laughs> Alright guys, now we're in the guest bathroom. I've already cleaned the toilet. Now I'm just going to clean the sink and do exactly as I did in my bathroom. I really am so tired. You guys, kitchen is all clean. Everything is wiped down. Dishes are all done. Oh, so much better. So much better. The dishwasher just finished. I want to show you guys a little hack that will dry your dishes. Because once you get them out of the dishwasher, they're still like soaking wet. So I just grab. Oh, look at that steam. So for this hack to dry your dishes, all you're going to need is a little towel. I put it like this, half of it in, half of it out. Just close it. And you want to do this as soon as the dishwasher finishes. Um, and that will soak up all the extra moisture in there and dry all your dishes. I asked my niece to help me vacuum. Thank you, Maya. Almost done. Okay, I'm in, I'm in my vlog room now really not that dirty thank goodness i've already I've, i keep up with this room because i'm like constantly filming in it and it has to stay clean so i'm just gonna wipe down the mirrors and mop. A clean vanity is literally like the best site ever. It's super organized. Everything is wiped down. All my stuff is put away. And now I can move on to Maddox's room, which is the last room. Clean, clean, yay. Thankfully, Maddox's room is pretty clean. All I had to do was vacuum and wipe down this mirror. And now let's go mop the house. All right, now let's get to mopping. This is my favorite mop. It's the O Cedar one. It's the best. Okay, well, I'm gonna finish mopping the rest of the house. I have literally the entire house to mop, but everything else is done. I didn't quite get to the clothes. I'm gonna make Mustafa put those up when he gets home. <laughs> They're all folded. They just need to be put up. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this gives you guys some motivation to get to cleaning your houses. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.